Okay, so uh, here we are today, Sunday evening, and uh, we got distracted by uh, the chair project, which is a whole separate video, which is going to go out later on tonight. Uh, we're finally getting back to uh, the buffet. Uh, we still want to get this done by Thursday. Uh, so here we are at the end of the of the counter that touches the wall and the and the tile work, and that just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I got my uh, belt sander out. And uh, we'll uh, make short order of that to clean this up. It's on the end grain, and it's a little difficult to cut using a little jack plane like this. Uh, it does a fair job, but it would take a long time to do to do it completely, and I don't really have the time to burn, unfortunately, to uh, to do it that way. So I'm going to use the the uh, belt sander and um, take it off that way. I need to undercut this here. I need to smooth this out a little bit, the coping saw was a little bit rough right in the middle there. <clears throat> and then um, that'll be the first thing today. The second thing today is to set it up back on my end stops. I'm going to have to move my end stops though. I think it's a lot shorter now than it was before. So, Because uh, I need to plane this edge down uh, about an eighth of an inch. Uh, because of the gap here I figured out if I plane this down that will close up this gap. Uh, and then from there I can plan out the cut. Uh, for the uh, stove cut out um, and then I probably will take up the rest of my time available today uh, and then tomorrow night we'll, we'll go over here and start doing some bullnose work and then also make the final cut at the, f at the far end um, and prepare for the uh, radius at the opposite corner. so that's what's going on uh, this evening I'm going to reset the camera so you can get a tight angle on this shot and we'll go from there Okay, so here we are. So uh, sanding's done on that end. I think that'll be a good fit. It wasn't. It wasn't much that had to be fixed. And uh, so now here's the back side. This is the stove side of the buffet. And I'm gonna run the uh, planer down a little bit. I'm gonna score the underside uh, for an eighth of an inch, so I'll know uh, when I'm done with the planing. It's just a, a dimensional planing. There's no other real purpose. Um, and then. Um, I can flip it over and maybe look at doing some bullnosing. Uh, I got a text message from my buddy who's been watching my videos, thanks Steve, uh, with some suggestions of how I can do the bullnose. Um, but uh, I think I'll just go ahead and do the planer style. Uh, that'll deal with that. I've done that kind of thing before. And anyway, that's, that's, uh, let's do some planing. Get my dust bass back on. My dad's tool, one of his many. It's got a an inch scale here, and um, and there's a little nail or steel pin right under right on my finger, and a little wooden screw, and it's adjustable. So you can just and then the the pin, the steel pin, is right at the zero mark. So I need about an eighth of an inch. So I'll put the um, the block. At about the eighth inch mark, it's a it's a very old printing, and there's speckles of paint and other things on here, so it's kind of a challenge to read a little bit, but it seems to be pretty close. I'll I'll check it against my modern tech to see how close it is. Eighth of an inch, yeah, it's pretty close. Let's see, it just needs a smidge more based on my test read against my modern scale. <coughs> Pardon my cough. It's the change of the season it happens over here. Okay, okay so then I use this uh, pin then to score all the way down and then I'll set my uh, planer goal. Hey Gabriel, what's up buddy? There we go. 
So I don't know if that shows up on the camera, but that put a nice score mark all along the bottom. I'm going to reinforce it a little bit. We're going to go in that striker. I'm going to try outside. My son has discovered the uh, flint striker in the machine side of the room and has discovered it's pretty cool. Kind of sparkly. Let's see here. I want to extend. So we turn it clockwise to extend. I'll put this on the course. And Steve says uh, I had a lot of courage for hand planing an 80 inch long plank. I appreciate that. I come from a long line of 80 inch planers. I remember my dad used to do stuff like this in the garage. I'm right there at the uh, score mark. It's pretty consistent all the way down. Woo! That's a good workout. Okay, so I should take care of this flub. You know, sometimes these projects where you're trying to do a custom project with this, and it's very custom because the, there's nothing about the kitchen that is square in any way. Sometimes it's just a series of flubs and catch-ups and corrections. It's never straight and square. Never. I'm going to flip it over and uh, see if I can do a little bit of bull nose work and um, then I can take it inside and actually do a test measure and see see how I'm doing. Okay so I flipped it over and this is the uh, side of the edge facing the dining room and uh, getting my my jointer plate around again here and uh, we're going to run this down a little bit. I'm going to still leave it on the, the course setting. Pretty good profile right there. I could almost start rounding over the shape then with the jointer planer. I'll take one more coarse shot on the back here, on the top side. Now being this this is a jack plane, it'll leave you with uh, peaks and valleys. It won't make a real smooth cut, but it's a lot more nimble to work with. Okay, so I got a three-sided edge and each facet looks like it's about the same size. So I'm going to stop with the jointer. I'm going to switch back. I'm sorry, stop with the jack plane. I'm going to switch back to the jointer planer. And um, this has got a, a shallower cut to it now. I'm going to start to smooth out some of these angles. How you can make a bull nose without a bull nose. Let me uh, 
grab a little bit of sandpaper here. Carry it all supply. You know. More of these uh It's state seal stuff. This is, what is this? 100 grit? Here's some 100 grit. Just want to kind of smooth it over a little bit. I mean, if you're going to do uh, woodworking, by the way, you must have lots of patience. So if you're watching this video and thinking, oh, I wish you would get it done, then maybe you shouldn't try to do woodworking because it's, it's a slow and even iterative process uh, to make sure you do a beautiful job. You can rush through it, but then you'll end up with something that doesn't look very nice. Take your time. I'm no expert, but I know... I know my own tendencies. Sometimes I want to just rush through with something like this. And then it's so rewarding, you know, when you get it done, so. In fact, when I uh, when I start to uh, sand the top, I'm going to sand it by hand as well. I don't want to put any hard, I don't want any motors on this thing. I only have three quarters of an inch to play with. I won't even use an orbit. I don't think it's, it's not that bad. The kind of uh, surface problems I need to fix. So. So I suppose I could have gone with, you know, the $100, three-quarter inch bulldoze router bit. Um, but how long does this take? 20 minutes? Looks nice. I like it. I think it'll, um, it'll take a finish real nice. Happy. Be Let's do a test here to see how well this edge will take the jack plane as far as trying to bone out the end grain. Oh, actually, that goes really well. Okay, so I'm going to shut this down now and uh, take this inside and uh, do a fit test. And um, yeah, I'll do, do it for tonight. We'll, we'll come back tomorrow and uh, to do some final uh, cutting of the end and the round of the radius. And then um, should be ready to uh, start putting uh, the polyurethane on uh, tomorrow night. We'll put the first coat on at the end of the, the show. Thank you so much for uh, watching the show. Please like and share this video and um, subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends, anybody else who you think might be interested in doing 
stuff like this. You know, I'm learning, I'm no expert, but the more I try, the, the better it gets. So I'm really enjoying this process. Thank you.